Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, brothers and sisters. Hope you're having an amazing day in Jesus', Jesus name. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. And leave any comments if you have any questions or concerns. And let's get to the video. So, I had a best best friend, right? And uh, to this, I'm, I'm no longer friends with him because something, something we had a fallout. I say that we, we were, I can say that we are like on and, on and off, but I had a best friend, right? You know, since elementary, we go way back. And uh, when we, and we were, we were together. We always there for one another. And when we got to high school, we would, we would play video games together after, after school the school school was out uh, on the weekends and we also with another friend too and uh, and there's times times where I, where I was sitting with him at lunch and, cause, and the thing about about my, my former best friend my ex best friend was that he was in a special needs program and I would sit with him sit with him because I wanted to be there for him I did, I want I want to make her feel feel like I I didn't forget about you. Yeah. And one day when we were talking, and what and we and one of the kids were talking talking about complaining about oh I don't got a girlfriend oh this and that. I mean no offense to or anything but. And he was and we were talking about about cor the corn up masturbation and all and I would say how how bad it was and that you should be wa should be watching it you should be you should be watching corn you should be you should be masturbating you should be doing no none of those things and that's what I've been saying after I give him give him my life to Jesus and the gig is I was trying I was trying to show my best friend Jesus Jesus Christ I was trying trying to Tell him the gospel, and then one day he told me that he masturbated and he washed the corn, cause his his dad, cause his dad was doing it, and he been doing this since since elementary. I was like shocked. I didn't know. I didn't know he was. Doing, and as as his best friend, I didn't know he was doing this. And the nigga is that. I told him how bad it was. And I was warning him, like, "Hey, hey, man, you gotta stop. You gotta stop doing this. This is it's literally gonna destroy your mind. Like, it's literally, it's literally gonna, gonna destroy your confidence and destroy, your, and destroy, destroy you mentally and spiritually." And when I told him, when I told him it was bad, he was he was like, "Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask my dad dad to see if, if it's bad." Like. Do you do you not see what it is doing doing to other kids? Do you not see the like the women who are defiling themselves through do this do this content? I mean, I know. I mean, I can't. I don't blame myself. I was a sophomore, so I didn't know any better. But it's it is plain as day that these women are devaluing themselves, and people and and pe boys who watch watch corn. Kind of, kind of look, kind of look pathetic. Uh, just, just keep it real. They look pathetic, and uh, I tried to help him, but he he didn't he didn't want help. And then one day I tried sending sending him a video. I tried to help him because me being be a, a good good friend, want wanted to help him and wanted to help him escape that, and and turn to Jesus Christ. And the thing is that he didn't he didn't listen, and uh, we got into an argument. And during that argument, he talked about my past, how I did this, I did that, and I was talking. And then, like, what? When he did that, did that? He he was he was literally telling on, on himself. And them devil horns are trying to show, not physically. Physically, but figure, figurative, figurative, 
he <laughs> speaking? <laughs> it was it was showing, and that's a that's the fact that he disrespected me like that by talk telling me about the past, about talking about my past and how I was so I was depressed. I was I was and I was so depressed, and he was I was like in my head I'm so I'm depressed for helping you out. And after that argument, he and he told me that he, not to bring this up again. And after that, I just I reconsidered our friendship. I I was like, should I continue continue to be friends with him? And again, like I said before. Is our relationship was like on and off, our friendship. And but for I'm but for real, I was actually reconsidering our friendship. And I actually went to God in prayer. And God was giving me two choices: either you continue, either you continue to be friends with Him, and be transferred away from me, or you get, or you just you cut Him off, and continue to follow me. I, I, those were my, I was forced to make a decision. And guess what? I chose Jesus. And then I went to the cafeteria. And I ended the friendship. And I was like, you know what? I had enough. Like, I'm done trying, I'm done trying to help him. And, uh, I'm done trying to drag, drag him. And the thing is that I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna force him. If you want, if you want to live his life, hey, let him live, live his life. But I'm not gonna be be there to see there there to see it. I'm not gonna be there 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 to see him him destroy himself and his own life. I'm not gonna be there to see him him burning, dying, dying. I'm not gonna be there when he's depressed. No, I'm not. I know I sound harsh, but but it's the truth. And that's that's what gonna show you what lust does, what lo, what lust, and what por pornography and what masturbation does to a person. It destroys their mind, their confidence, their their self worth, and how they view themselves and how they view women. And also, not only does it dis not only does lust destroy destroy friendship and relationships, it also destroys marriages. Also, but people are too, too dumb enough to see that. And it's and it's sad, honestly. And it's sad I had to end end that friendship. It was one of the hardest decisions I had to make, but it was but to but for my own for for my own sake and for God's sake, and to to make sure make sure I was worrying about my spirit own spiritual journey with Christ. I had to do, I had to do do it because that's one of the things you're gonna you're gonna have to do when you're following Jesus. You're gonna have to cut some people off. That's just that's just the, that's just the way it works. And well, and like I said before, following Jesus is not for the faint at heart. And the thing is that well, the only way we we could we could just. We could stop this over the sexualization, and we can stop stop this lust problem, this lust pandemic, is by coming to the Lord Jesus Christ. The man, the man who who decided who decided decided to leave heaven, left the throne, who was sent by the heavenly Father, who who was one hundred percent man, one hundred percent God at the same time. And this man lived thirty year, perfect, perfect years li lives, perfect, and no wrong was found in him. And this man decided to be mocked and ridiculed, and scourged. He went through through hell because he loves us. He went through hell and was crucified. He became he, he became a sacrificial lamb for all the humanity, so that we won't have to perish, perish by having eternal life in heaven. He died, and also the thing is that. Jesus already conquered lust on the cross. He already conquered it. And and the thing is that we can't conquer it by our, conquer lust by our own strength. We need Jesus in our lives. 
only only do through, through faith in Jesus Christ can can we can we defeat lust because Jesus already defeated it and and by faith faith in, in Christ Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit we could we could burn we could burn lust lust through through our through our mind through our minds through our hearts and eventually this destroy destroy the this over -sex sexualization that that is going on within our society and only through Jesus Christ can our minds be changed and our and can our perspective on women and our other things be changed and we can't and the game is we can't fight lust on our own the solution is that y'all need to stop giving in to temptation in fact y'all need to run from it I know it looks good I know it feels good it's, it's good giving in to it right but short term you just want short term pleasure but what about short term suffering for long term long term rewards short term re it said you're choosing short term rewards but it said for long term suffering I know you don't want that do you mm -mm, no lust get me into lust every time like pornography and masturbation has consequences and you know it you know it's ruining your life but you should still choose to give into it stop running running to lust flee from lust just like Joseph fled from Potiphar's wife flee fornication for any other sin you do is outside your body but sexual immorality is a sin against your own body you're sinning against your own body you're sinning against your own mind you're sinning, you're sinning against God. You're sinning against their heart. And the thing is that you need to run for lust and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. And the thing is, I'm not condemning you. And Jesus does not condemn you. He loves, he loves you. And he wants and he wants to come and he wants you to wants to deliver you from your from your coin addiction. But the thing is that you do you do need to place your faith and trust in Jesus. You need to come. You don't need to be perfect. You need to come as you are. And over time, as you continue to walk with Him, you'll gain the strength you need to need to conquer lust. Run for lust and run to run to the Lord Jesus Christ. Stop giving into it. Cut cut anything off that that causes you, causes you to sin, because it's written in Matthew chap, chapter six. 16 verse 12 and don't bash me if I got this wrong if that right hand calls you to sin cut it off for it's better for a man for it's better to not have your right hand than have your entire body be cast into hell it doesn't mean literally but anything that causes you to sin in your life you need to cut it off it's better if you don't have those things in your life then then what you have those have those things to carry that you're carrying with you and you stand before God and be cast into to, to the everlasting fire. Solution is come to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's all I got. Do pray this video helps you helps you conquer lust. Cause eat cause because I want cause the thing is lust is handicapping us, man. And the thing is we need Jesus more than ever. We, the only way you, you truly come to us inwardly is by coming to faith faith in Jesus Christ. Till then, don't be religious, follow Christ.